Today we'll be doing quadratic curve part two. Let's get started with the example where we're gonna have a being less than zero to have a maximum curve. Y equal seven minus x minus x square for the interval negative four and three. Just remember these are the values that you're going to put in your table for x. So your x value is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 are coming from the range that was given in the question, which is negative 4 to 3. Again, wherever you see x, you'll be replacing it with first negative 4. Now, as you can see, I have 7 minus, I have in brackets, negative 4, close bracket, minus, open bracket, negative 4, close bracket, square. The negative times the negative become positive, right? So it'll be 7 plus 4, minus, we square this negative, so it becomes 16, so it's minus 16, and it gives you negative 5. Now, if you put this in your calculator just as is, you should be getting the same values. Then you replace replace it with negative 3, just as how you see I have it. You could and when you enter it in your calculator, you will get 1. Now, we'll do the same thing with negative 2. So substitute a negative 2 and a right. Enter this into your calculator. You should be getting positive 5. You will be continuing the same process with negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Here I don't have the values for 3. I want you to do that activity. So you should find out what is y values when x is equal to 3. Now we're moving on to the next section where you're supposed to plot the points. So this is a graph and just remember you get a maximum because the coefficient of x squared is negative so it's a maximum so that's a good way for you to know if you're plotting the correct function. Now after plotting this function if you realize again we have some questions that we need to answer. The first part is saying solve the following for which the function is greater than or equal to zero. So in other words, we're asking when y is greater than or equal to zero. In other words, what are the x values, the range of x values, when I know my y values are positive? If you realize above the x-axis, we have positive y values. So we need to find out what's the starting point. So we can plot a point. Here we have A, and here we have another point, B. So this is telling me between negative 3.19 and 2.2, Y is positive so between these two values you have y being positive now i'm going to round off negative 3.19 to negative 3.2 so the values of x when y is greater than or equal to 0 is x is greater than or equal to negative 3.2 but lesser than or equal to 2.2 now, looking at the next part of the question, where we have 7 minus x minus x squared equal 3, we're comparing this side with the original question, where we have the graph 7 minus x minus x squared. As you can see, both of them are the same, so it means my focus should be on what is over the equal sign, where we have this being y equal 3. Three, that's the y-axis. So here we have our y equal three. 
Now, again, cut it at two places. So you should be reading off the values, which are the x values. So you're supposed to have two x values. And you should be reading off x value where it cuts the x axis. So here we have two points that we need to read off on the x axis. So it's an x equal negative 2.58 and x equal 1.6. So y equal 3 is just a horizontal line through the y axis. Then you draw a line where the point of intersection of the curve and this horizontal line. The next one, if you write, you have 11 minus x minus x squared equals 0. So if you look at this, you have y equals 7 minus x minus x squared. They are not looking the same. So it means we have to do some work. So we subtract 4 on both sides. And here, when you subtract 4, you get the 7 minus x minus x squared. And now it looks like the original. So our focus is now on what is over the equal sign, which is y equal negative 4. So negative 4 is below the x-axis. So I'm going to draw a line through negative 4. So where you have the point of intersection, you are going to draw a line going up towards the x-axis. And where I have n, you are going to read off that point and that is your x value. Again, you are going to draw a line to the x-axis and you read the point O. So you draw a line through negative four, then where the curve and this horizontal line cuts, you draw a line going towards the x-axis and where I have n, if you realize my point. So, so let's see the solution. x is equal to, it will be negative 3.9. And here, drawing a line going up towards my x-axis, I have 2.9. Now, the final activity for number three is where we have five minus two x minus x squared. It is not looking like the original. We need to have a seven here. We need to have a minus x. I need this five to become a seven. So that is why I have plus two here. Now, if I have a plus two here, I have to do it on the same other side. So plus two, plus two, because I want a seven and you're balancing the equation. I have a minus 2x and I need a minus x. So I have to add 1x one, one on both sides. So minus 2x plus x give you a negative x. And all we did was care about doing the minus x squared. So now we have the quadratic on this side looking like the original. So it means that our focus is on what is over the next side, which is the right hand side. And we can rewrite the 2 plus x as y equals 2 plus x. So wherever we see x, we're going to replace it with x values. You determine the x values you want, but I usually encourage you to use the easiest numbers, 0 and 1 or 1 and 2. So let us use x equals 0. So we have 0 plus 2, that's 2 and one plus two, that's three. So zero, two, and one, three are points that you will plot. So we have zero, two, one, three. Here we go. So again, if you realize we have point of intersection and what I would like you to do is write in the comment section what is the point of intersection and the x value so as you can see I'm having my line so do the same graph tell me what is your answer in the comment section and if you realize it's two points of intersection so please comment what are the two points of intersection the x-axis is what gives us 
the answer. So go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe guys and like my video.